वेलकम बैक इन दिस डेमो वीडियो विल डिस्कस हाउ टू डिक्लेयर ए टाइमर इंस्टेंट डीबी डाटा इन ए नॉर्मल ग्लोबल डाटा ब्लॉक ओके फर्स्ट आई विल क्रिएट ए फंक्शन आई विल गिव द नेम एज टाइमर टैग declaration declaration okay same way i will create a okay i will create a data block db timer tag declaration okay so first i will open timer tag okay so here i will take a timer that can be t on t off or tp okay i will take a tp timer okay so this is normal procedure that when you take a timer it will create a instant db okay and this db see this db29 just dedicated for this timer only so it is block this db is block for this timer okay so one minute if i give you time one minute okay we have to give a tag here to activate timer okay here i will give timer activate okay tag okay here db timer tag declaration timer okay i will call this timer this timer tag declaration function in main db otherwise it will not execute so i will just drag and drop that fc okay i have already open simulation so i just download the program okay now i will open okay if i okay see i have activate the timer but time is not counting okay why it is happen because any timer when you use that timer should call in other place that can be that can be q or et okay when you use a timer that timer need to call in other place or you have to use this q or et otherwise it will not work perfectly okay so what i will do i will declare another tag timer activated okay timer activated so i'll just sorry timer db db timer activated okay see if i download okay now if i activate see time is running that means it's working uh, that that queue you can use here or you can call that db dot queue in any place that time it will be work 
also you can declare a tag in et that also work means you have to use any any of this q or et in any other place after that it will work okay so this is how you can use the timer that you have to use a instance db okay but today i will show how we can use a tag here not instance db okay so here i will use that timer tp okay here you can use like i sorry iac timer like this way i see timer tp sorry i see timer okay also timer another i will declare another tag timer tp here i will keep it i is timer i is okay here i will give a timer tp here tp okay by this way you can declare two timer variable like this one here you can see both are same okay but this ic timer can be used on tp t on t up in all cases but this tag you have to use only for the timer tp timer okay this is the difference only you can just like you can tp here you can give you one okay tp timer okay here i can use t on timer you have to use t on okay so by this way you can declare t on t of okay now you understand that how to declare the tag ic timer tag or tp or t on right ic timer can be used for all timer but tp timer or t on timer tag only use for dedicated purpose okay so here i will go back and see if i take a another okay the tp i will not use okay cancel now i will give tp timer the tp1 okay just it will ask like this you have to just back give a back space okay okay just and then click in empty space then it will take okay here i will give that one minute also and i will use same tag for activate that db i will just cut i will just cut and paste here okay now i will download see if i use that t1 see this timer is working it is not a instance db that are dedicated for this timer it is just called from a separate global db variable okay so i have used here that tp timer right tp timer tag tp timer okay now i will show the tag that is db i see time attack okay okay 
it is start because um, this one was uh, activated earlier so if i give zero it will be still running because it is a tp timer it will run for one minute 60 seconds like this okay okay by the time i will declare another tag name it as a timer reset okay so timer reset this one i will reset this timer running timer okay so for that i will use db reset timer reset okay and i'll use a output that has you can see that there is no pin for reset the timer once it is run you cannot reset it will run for your declared time that i have declared here one minute so it will run till one minute but you can reset any timer in any time okay so how you can reset reset by using rt reset timer so where i will what will be the tag you have used here so if you reset a timer like this timer i want to reset so all the timer tag variable everything is in that db so i will use that db variable here okay so now i will save and download okay reinitialize because new tag added so if you reinitialize your all variable will be start with zero value or your initial value okay so see there is no activation okay but this timer output is on because this timer is not call anywhere so it will be like all the time okay now i will activate that timer first i will first i will show that it will run for one minute or not okay so wait till one minute pass okay okay see it stop so if i again activate this timer and make it zero again so your input is zero but this timer is running till one minute but for any reason you need to reset this timer your input is not there but you have to reset so how we can do that so i will just modify okay see this timer is now reset by this way you can reset any timer by using rt output okay so i have shown you guys to declare the timer in db because this db you need this timer tag you need when you make a call block okay 
like a, you have to create a motor block or an, any other block that time you need this variable to call okay okay let me show if it is here or not i don't know sorry uh, this is a motor fc right see this is motor fc uh, simple motor fc but if you think it uh, you need a uh, very um, specific uh, motor db or any other db where you have to use timer or uh, false trigger rise trigger you can just declare that timer uh, here or this uh, temporary temp here okay like timer timer for feedback okay feedback time so you can just write t1 t1 okay or i see sorry you have to use that is in static 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 you don't have this okay 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 you have to declare that timer in fb okay because in fc you, you don't need to create the db block right but uh, for that timer you need a data block right so in fb when you declare this timer it will be okay see uh, here i can declare okay in motor fb like this okay i can declare here this is static static tag will be shown in the instance db okay timer fb here t on like this or t on or tp tp okay so this timer uh, tag you can use here and when you call this motor one fb that time a new instance db will create and this tag will be inside that instance db okay and that is my motto to show how you can use a timer variable to use the timer